Hello. Good evening. Hi. I'm gonna wait a minute for late arrivals. Okay, this is going to be a very informal talk about our plans for a public event to celebrate John Banford, who was an artist who painted the largest picture ever painted in Louisville, Kentucky in the 1840s. A panorama of the Mississippi River. And it was very famous, but now it's almost completely forgotten. I don't know if many of you are familiar with my published work, uh, my books. Well, anyway, um, I've been interested for quite a while in paintings of bodies of water, rivers and streams, swimming pools, bathtubs. I'm a half glass of water myself, and so, well, the way I look at it is similar to the way some people look at figure painting. Researching this history has been something of a personal voyage of discovery for me. So, at this event we're putting together, I'll present some of my historical research as part of the show, and also in partial fulfillment of my art history uh, doctoral dissertation. We have a small model of how we're going to show the way the painting was presented on upright rollers, and Bandard had a system to keep his picture from sagging in the middle. It's sometimes been described as a system of grommets, but actually he used a rope that was sewn along the top edge, and it ran over pairs of pulleys, which here in our model, We've used some wheels from Hot Wheels cars to make our pulleys, and we mounted them on pencil eraser ends by punching them through the dimples in the metal casings. Uh, the gears from a fishing rod work to turn it, but really not very well, so we're going to have to find uh, a better gear for that. Now I have a short segment of video, if we could get the lights, if we could run that. This is downtown Louisville on Main Street. We're on our way to the north end of 3rd, which was called Pearl Street in the 1840s. And there's, right now there's a lot of construction going on. This is the place near the lg &E building. Actors Theater is around the corner on Main. And there's the, or can you see? This is where Banford's panorama was shown. Can you get the, the gap? It was a building, it was called the Apollo Saloon, right about here in the gap between these buildings. It was upstairs in what was called the Apollo Rooms. And of course he went on to, to Boston and Europe with the panorama. But here is where it started. I think it's interesting to come here to imagine this thing happening. I just, I don't know. It's weird to think of. It's strange. But then as soon as you say that, you think, who's to say what's strange or not? What's weird? What isn't weird? I don't know. It feels strange to me. to think of it.
good job. It was good. Thanks. I was kind of nervous.